On the most recent episode of Game of Thrones, the Night King killed one of Daenerys Targaryen's dragons with an epic ice javelin throw. To find out what it took to harpoon the mythical beast, we brought the leader of the White Walkers into the lab to analyze the science of his lethal spear shot. The first thing to notice is form. Due to his undead frozen structure, he is able to keep his body in alignment as he leans backward to gain momentum for the toss. The 45 degree angle he hits before moving forward provides an optimal trajectory to strike an airborne target. The pure feat of strength is also something to behold. We estimate the distance between White Walker and Dragon to be approximately 200 yards. This means the weapon would have to be traveling at a velocity of 118 miles per hour in order to penetrate the Dragon's protective hide, according to our arbitrary calculations. To figure out how the Night King achieved that unprecedented velocity, we looked at his arm's rotational force. He applies a remarkable 158 newton meters of torque to launch his ice spear. To put that in perspective, that would be like a discus thrower spinning five times faster before releasing. This motion would also likely tear the oblique muscles and shatter the ribs of a typical human. With the object traveling at that speed over that distance, the Night King would laughably shatter the javelin throw world record of 343 feet 10 inches set by Yui Hohn of East Germany in 1984. But how would this motion translate to other sports? Say, could the Night King play quarterback in the NFL? Perhaps not as well as you would think. The flat-footed release, with both feet aligned, would not only hinder mobility, but any inconsistency in torque could also immensely alter accuracy. Remember, the Night King went just one for two in Dragon's hit. 50% is a subpar mark in today's pass-heavy offenses, especially given the size of the target. Also, a slow release of a full two Mississippi would make him very susceptible to the rush. The Night King would probably still be better than any Jets quarterback, but he definitely shouldn't land on a roster before Colin Kaepernick. Next week, We'll delve into how Gendry was able to run to the wall, a raven could fly to Dragonstone, and a dragon could fly back beyond the wall, all in like five minutes.